coach, um, on the way into the dressing room, I heard Grant Bakari say it was dirty, but we did it. Is that, would you sum it up that way? You're going to have tough games like this. I mean, it's not always going to you know, be pretty, and, and it was a war. We, we talked about it at halftime. And these guys came to play, and they're a physical football team. They got after us pretty good, and, and it was just a matter of uh, gritting it out. Similar to the to the game in Winnipeg, except for the end bit. I mean, they driving down the field. Did it feel like? Yeah, yeah. Did, did it feel like it was going to happen again? Uh, you know, I was just calm. I, our defense needed to needed to dig in, and I was I was telling the guys after uh, after we got off the field that this was really good for our defense. You know, the defense needed. We needed to finish that way. It, it's going to help us. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the offense? There was, uh... Uh, we, you know, they played really well defensively. Uh, they got, uh, they, they collapsed the pocket on us. They stopped the run. Um, they, they were smart with their matchups. You know what they did up front, and uh, we struggled a little bit. Uh, but that being said, we did have opportunities. You know, we missed a wide open tasker for a touchdown in the third quarter. We, we didn't convert on a on a, uh, on a second and two. Um, and I thought those three points were going to come back to haunt us. You know, on the missed field goal, but. Hey, you know, you're not going to make all the plays, and, and uh, it usually comes down to it in a game like this, probably seven or eight plays that makes a difference. This is sort of, is this kind of like the indicative of the evolution of this team, right? I mean, week, week three is a different ending. And... Well, I mean, we just found a way to win. I don't know. It, you know what we focus on is just, just constant improvement, you know that, just, just trying to get better each week. and. Uh, really, really putting the responsibility on the players to continue to improve and grow as a football player and then on each unit on both sides of the ball and on, and on teams uh, to, to get better and to grow. Um, when you do that and you focus on those things, typically the wins take care of themselves. What's going on with the defense? Have you, have you put something in their cornflakes? Like they're, they've played lights out for a month. Uh, they're playing really, really well. They play, they play well together. They're close unit. We have a good combination. Uh, uh, we're playing pretty well up front. And, and we're, and we're making more plays, and, and and not having as many penalties, you know, as we've had. Now that that's another big key. We talked about momentum versus confidence. Is this something that helps confidence? Any any win does. Any win does because you need you need to have victories to solidify what you're trying to do and what we're teaching our players and what we're teaching them to focus on and you know what we're what we're, what we're uh, harping on is as the important things. And, and when you win, it brings glue and solidifies those things. I know you say all victories are important and big, but are, I mean, are, are wins like this where you sort of find a way to get it done, especially having not done it against the mm -hmm. same team? Yeah. Can this win be? Well, yeah, it, you know, I, I know what you mean. And I, yeah, I mean, it, it's generally speaking, what I said, I, th I think is true. But but a win like this teaches you how to win. It gives you the confidence that when you get in another tough situation like this, that you, you have the faith and the confidence to pull it off.